explain what's the, the immediate feeling after that game? Just frustration really. We we know we weren't good enough. We know we're better than that. But it's just frustrating to to concede literally in the last seconds of the game. It's just it's heartbreaking, do you know what I mean? Like um we thought if we would have won that we were lucky because we 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 didn't play play our best, but well, at least we got a draw. You mentioned we don't uh, we didn't play our best tonight. That's something the manager touched on as well. What, what would you put that down to? Um, I, I don't know to be honest. Maybe feeling a bit leggy from the weekend. Um, there's a whole factor of things which I, I honestly don't know. It's just we just weren't on it tonight, and we can hold our hands up up to that, and we just need to keep going and keep improving. The kind of pendulum seemed to swing quite a bit in the first half. I thought we started quite brightly. It was fairly even for another 10, 15 minutes. And then Aloha, to their credit, I thought had probably the best of the, the last 10, 15 minutes. Would you, would you agree to that? Yeah, I agree. I thought we, we started really sharp, um, getting loads of balls into the box. And um, I thought we were going to get a, an early goal. And then, I don't know what happened. We seemed just to come off it or they seemed to apply the pressure more. And we just went through loads and loads of cannonballs of balls coming in and just having to defend. And we couldn't really attack or get anything going. So uh, I totally agree. Uh, a kind of early scare with yourself as well when you were down for treatment. I take it no immediate after effects or ill effects? Well, t t to be fair, I, I was I was sore the whole game. I, I, I did, um, I got need in my, in my calf, literally right at the start when I, um, cleared the ball from Salmon and um, it was just getting just kept getting tight but I put my DP on there and got through the game but yeah it, it was sore but it's, not, it's nothing major just a little dead leg Things were, were mixed up a little bit in the second half when the management made uh, you know several changes do you think that gave us a, a sort of brighter outlook? I think it um, gave us more legs I'd say Cause maybe because obviously I don't know if it's 70, 60 minutes on coming on gave us fresh legs to, to go and attack and I don't know if we changed the formation which probably helped because they were so used to counteracting us in the position that we started like the positions that we started with so then when we changed it it probably confused them a bit so that's why I feel like we got that cutting edge and I feel like even in the second half we, we picked it up a lot more when the, when the subs came on and um, I, I just I just think we're so unlucky to, to lose from, from not a great performance but it's still not nice to to lose a late goal like that. And that's the thing, especially when you know we, we get the, the breakthrough with something like four and a half minutes to go. You must think at that point we've, we've done it. Yeah, literally. Like, well, To be fair, well, we, we never think we've done it because obviously the, they've always got counteracting balls coming in 24-7. So we're always alert, but it's just a bit of a mix-up between the ref and, and Brad. We all think it was, well, we know it was outside of the box, but the ref fought different and you can't you can't really appeal with the ref can you his decision's final so we just have to take it and move on that's the thing as you say it's now dependent on results elsewhere and of course now maybe looking for for Airdrie to do as our little favourite at the weekend yeah um, we're just looking for them because they're a good team to to maybe get a draw or get a win um, against Dunfermline because Dunfermline aren't unbeatable so you never know on, on the weekend they could get a draw or a win so fingers crossed they can and uh, of course it's Scottish Cup action next, uh, how are you feeling about that one? Um, obviously it's a bit dull in the camp at the moment, From it feels like a loss but we drew, but it's just because we set high standards so when, when we're not at them standards it's, it's, it's a bit of a blow. Um, but we're positive, we're, we're, we're going to be doing a lot of build up towards it, um, we're looking forward to it and hopefully we can pick up our game and go and put on a great performance as we have in the last, in the last get, how many games, six games. And, uh, and just finally, on a, on a personal level this time, you look like you're kind of enjoying your football and you've settled in quite well. Yeah, to be fair, I, I am. I've, I've never enjoyed my football more. I think it's because I'm getting a good run of games in, in the first team. Um, obviously, that's off performances, keeping my performances high, not letting it, not letting it drop. And I'm just, yeah, I am. I'm really enjoying my football at the moment. The lads are great. Um, I think the, the team plays well, but obviously we just weren't great today. And yeah, I'm really enjoying my football at the moment. Couldn't, couldn't have gone better. It's good to hear. Blaine, thanks for your time. Thanks very much.